Hi all, this is Bay bringing you Captain Tsubasa Tatagai Dream Team again. Today I'd like to go over some fundamentals uh, of the game. Um, forget about this, um, I'll retire. Um, <clears throat> because um, I, I received uh, some uh, questions on you know which icon does what and which I should have covered you know way in the back in the past. Which I didn't, and I, I may have skipped over to some, uh, you know, advanced things uh, instead of going over the fundamentals in the beginning. So, um, <clears throat> I'd like to first uh, let you know what's on this uh, home screen. First of all, so here is the news section where you could receive officials uh, uh, news uh, whenever it's released. And um, the newest one will come on the top, of course. And at the moment, they we uh, Captain Tsubasa is. Uh, in a uh, dream fest uh, period where uh, you have the chance to get this uh, dream fest only uh, Matsuyama this one right here with the blue shirt uh, he's a DMF uh, he's uh, really really I actually got it yesterday uh, I got really lucky I was able to get it without you know paying uh, additional uh, money on it to gacha and here is his skills this is the maximum um, status right here these um, it says a uh, 440, the, the number on the top, uh, right beneath rank S. This is the uh, strength of each skill. So this one on top is his main skill with the orange. It says Eagle Tackle is his main skill because he, he's a DMF. Uh, his uh, really uh, skills are all uh, defensive. And the Eagle Tackle rank S is uh, the strength of this uh, skill is 440, which is really, really strong. Well, this is the status, the the... the the figure on this uh, page right here is when you you know reach the maximum skill level so that should be 99 for this S skill so it shouldn't be that strong at the beginning I'll show it to you later with my actual um, Matsuyama but anyways it's really strong um, if you look at this uh, maximum skill because it's normally only reaches up to uh, like um, three, some, somewhere around 300 or maybe on 200 for uh, the past, the uh, the previous eagle tackle, which was rank A, and the second sub skill, uh, which are in yellow uh, background, on the second one right here, and the third one right here with rank A's. The second one is eagle pass, uh, and uh, the maximum strength of this skill will be 300. Uh, yeah, with um, okay, I forgot to mention the the figure underneath the strength. The 390 on top uh, with uh, rank S skill, uh, eagle tackle. This means um, how much uh, stamina you'll use each time you you use this skill. Yeah. So for the second one, eagle pass, you will use 120 uh, stamina, and the strength of this eagle pass will be 300. And the third one, it says um, I don't know how you call it, but this this is like a one-two skill where you can you like it's like a golden uh, combination for Tsubasa and Misaki, uh, where you if you use it. You know, it uses a lot of stamina, but it's worth using it because um, it'll keep passing to your teammate until you go up like uh, distance. So if you start, if you use this where when you're in the center court, you'll probably end up like almost you know near, <coughs> sorry, near uh, penalty area almost. Yeah. So this is really good, and the the strength of this is 300, so it's not bad. It's not as good as probably uh, the golden combination for Tsubasa and Misaki, but it's still really good. AA rank is really good. Yeah, so that's that. And this one, the, the box, you will probably understand it's uh, where you receive all the presents from the officials, right? <coughs> Sorry. Um, okay, the, the one with the medal is a mission. So on this left, very left tab, you get, uh, you, you, you could see a daily mission, which I already completed, so it doesn't show you anything. But normally, every day they'll uh, uh, renew you, renew uh, with a daily mission. And if you clear all the mission, like for example this one, um, it says uh, do a friend gacha. That's easy. You just go to gacha section and go to the very bottom of it and you see the friend gacha with Ishizaki's uh, icon or whatever I forgot. And all you have to do is just uh, gacha once with that. That's free, so do it. And then if you clear the, the scenario, the story mode, you'll get any, any uh, stage is fine. Just clear one, and you get uh, ten thousand um, gold coins. Gold, not not gold coins. It's just coins to 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 use for whenever you uh, like evolve or train or whatever, right? On top right here. And play the league once and twice, and you get the league medals right here. And if you clear all that, you get this uh, rainbow ball, which is really important in this game. 
And then here comes the weekly mission. So if you keep doing the daily, you'll eventually reach you know, the weekly missions that they give you, which are like, you know, cl clear the scenario seven times. So, you know, it said right here, clear the scenario once every day. So if you do it seven times, you know, it'll be a weekly mission, right? Or you could just do it like, you could just do like two or even seven in one day and you just clear it uh, in advance. And uh, here, uh, train uh, ten characters. No, train ten times. So use uh, ten nodes or whatever, and that's fine. You complete it. And then here, uh, um, raise your skill level three times, you, and you get coins. And then play uh, league ten times. You get three thousand uh, league medal. And if you clear all that, you'll get a weekly. Um, what is it called? Oh, here. Okay, that was the pass. Sorry. So um, right now it's it's. They gave me. They're giving us um, clear the scenario five times, uh, play the league fifteen times, uh, play online five times. PVP. Yeah. And then if you clear all that, you get five uh, rainbow balls. So that will add up to. If you do daily mission seven days uh, without uh, missing any of them, you'll get seven rainbow. <coughs> God, sorry. And then if you do the weekly mission, then you'll get additional five. That means you'll get twelve every week. That's that will end up with like what about you have four weeks approx in a month right so so that will mean like 48 rainbow balls and you'll have probably additional few days so you'll get uh, probably every month you could get 50 rainbow balls just by clearing a mission <coughs> which means um, you'll be able to do 10 uh, you know paid gacha every month at least just by clearing the mission so please everyone do the daily and weekly mission for sure and if in case you don't understand what you, you need to clear in order for you to uh, achieve this uh, goal, please uh, feel free to comment below and I, I'm happy to answer you, to uh, guide you through. And these are free missions. Uh, it doesn't have any um, limitation of like a period of when, by when you have to finish it. Like for example here, um, rank your player rank up to 50 well I'm all at uh, 48 already so um, my next uh, mission is 50 but I think uh, you each time you re uh, reach uh, rank uh, 10 20 30 you know uh, at the, the, the tens and 20s right um, you'll get one rainbow ball that's pretty cheap right I thought you you get something more than that because you know it's gonna be really hard tough to for you to rank yourself up when you reach you know at a certain level but yeah anyways you only get one per each uh, 10 ranks and here uh, if you um, level your uh, rare R character to maximum that's easy you get one and well, I, I didn't know I didn't do this I'll do this right away after this um, and then uh, if you clear uh, if you play the league no no if you do 50 uh, consecutive wins in a league you get this uh, thousand league medal, <coughs> and if you reach uh, rank seven in the online PvP mode, you get thousand uh, online medals. Yeah, things like that. And event uh, missions. This only comes once in a while when when uh, official does some event. So yeah, I finished everything uh, actually, so I don't have anything to do it anymore. Yeah, but yeah, time to time they, they give you uh, this kind of missions. And then if you press this yellow button right here, if you're in a group, the Renme group, with the green flag on the left bottom in the home screen, um, you'll have like a daily mission, weekly mission, free mission, event missions for that as well. And if you clear these missions, uh, you won't get rainbow balls or anything else, but you'll get this green um, uh, group medal, which you could use to play the shoe panel which is pretty good because you'll get you have the chance to get at least our uh, Roberto Ro Roberto note at minimum and uh, at, you know if you get really lucky you could get the black soccer ball which you use to you know skill uh, level up your skill whichever skill it's uh, all, almighty so you could use it on any skill or you could get this uh, green ticket where you could use that to gacha, uh, you, you play the special gacha where you have the chance to win uh, special tsubasa at the moment. This I heard will rotate, so in uh, uh, a few days or you know a couple of days uh, it, it should change to something else. But anyway, it's going to be something uh, SSR, so it's worth doing, so yeah. <clears throat> so that's the mission section. And here with the shaking hand icon, 
is where uh, you receive uh, it's the friend section where you know on the left uh, tab a list of friends you have currently and then here on the second one it's uh, people who are asking you to become friends so if you press the green button it'll uh, ha uh, make you become friends with whoever's uh, applying to you or if you press the red it means that uh, you'll never uh, reject and uh, this section uh, is where you are applying to someone else someone that you want to become a friend yeah so at the moment I, I haven't done any uh, I, I didn't do apply to anybody so I don't have anything so here you could uh, by uh, entering um, the ID of the player you could uh, look for the particular player that you want to be friend with or uh, they will like uh, rec uh, here are some recommendations from the game yeah I guess uh, they, it shows you s uh, people who are you know near your rank yeah so that's the friend section so those are about, about it but about the friend section or the friend uh, function it doesn't do much actually uh, at least for, uh, up, uh, as of today because um, all you you don't you won't benefit anything from you know being you know you, creating friends in this game you don't get much uh, bonus or anything uh, only thing you'll get is when you play the scenario mode the solo mode you'll get to um, choose one of your friends right like here solo mode yeah and you know when you choose a friend you'll get like 10 or 50 uh, friend points you only get 10 points if you if you bring someone who is not your friend but you'll get 50 if you bring someone who's already your friend so yeah it's better to bring your friend rather than someone else but you know this 50 point or this 10 point friend point you don't really use because you only get crap out of this um friend gacha so you know look, look at my friend point i have like 27,000 left because i don't do this as much and you know only time i play this friend gacha is when there's a mission where they make you play it, right? Because, you know, my... The reason why I play it is because I want the rainbow ball, the daily mission rainbow ball. That's it. I don't really care what I get from this because I, I normally get, like, N stuff, N items, which I'm not going to use for sure. Anyways, yeah. Since I recognized that I hadn't done the, the training for the R character, I'll do it and I'll show you how I could receive... Um, that rainbow ball from the mission section. So here I choose the R character, right? And I train. You know, R character's uh, maximum level is only 40, so it's easy to rank him up, up to maximum. All you need is like, sorry, um, probably like 10 SS, uh, no, no, SR, uh, with the same uh, uh, color. But I don't have, unfortunately, so I'll just use red. So I couldn't reach uh, 40 with this one 10, uh, uh, 10 uh, notes, so I'll just do some more, but yeah, it's easy, right? So here, I, I, I put him to maximum, which is 40. And then, if you go to the home set, uh, screen, you'll see that there's a no, uh, um, number one, uh, one, you know, it says there's one uh, some, something that you accomplished and here I did the free mission and I get one so, yeah so this is how you do the mission you know it's it's from I guess you, you guys are familiar with these kind of uh, functions with uh, on other games so I shouldn't be you know taking too much time on this but uh, yeah and Remei the, the green flag the, the group I've already explained in another video so please check out my other video uh, if you're not uh, aware of uh, what this is and uh, these are just uh, you know banners you know uh, telling you the new um, uh, events that's up right now, right? And this is scenario. The very left is the story mode where you can uh, earn uh, you know uh, go over the Captain Tsubasa story, which is pretty good if you understand Japanese because it's only in Japanese. And uh, yeah, and another benefit you get from uh, clearing these stages is uh, you could get uh, rainbow balls if you clear the stage each stage for the first time. Yeah, which is important, you know, in the beginning, because uh, that will mean, you know, how much, how many uh, rainbow balls you earn from here means how many gacha uh, you could do. So, and then here is the event section where you could, uh, you know, there's events, you know, that comes uh, 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 time to time. It, it rotates, right? So currently, 
uh, they have um, this Natureza event for two hours, <coughs> up to 10 o'clock Japan time. <coughs> and then if, you, if uh, it becomes uh, 10 o'clock, it'll change to something else, you, where, which you could uh, check underneath here, with the yellow button underneath here. It shows the, the uh, coming, uh, upcoming uh, schedule, event schedules, like this. Yeah. And um, by um, pressing the button underneath each each event like this, it will um, make a reservation uh, for. F uh, so if you you could you know check all the events that's coming up, and if you want like this was as a shoot, press this button, make it yellow, and then it'll give you like a push uh, notice, even if you're not playing the app. I think yeah. So that's good, right? It's a good uh, really um, convenient function, and this is share play. Uh, a section so if you're in a group and someone in your group member is uh, sharing any uh, stages then it'll uh, list uh, all the, the, the invitations here but I would recommend you I never use this section I, I never go to the share uh, mode from here I would always uh, go to the uh, green flag here and then you know go to the chat section where uh, it'll show all the, the invitations here as, as well yeah and here is the league uh, section. If you enter, uh, it'll show you like you know the, all the uh, everything. It, it's on here on this screen is about league. And uh, I guess I'll go over leagues and uh, online here uh, on another video because um, my it's already the the length of the video is now uh, over 15 minutes. So yeah, and there are several icons uh, underneath here as well. Um, here is uh, the, the player section where you could train your player. The very left one is where you train your character. Yeah, you select the character you want to train and then you put like notes to, to uh, level the character. And then once the character reaches the maximum level, you go to the second uh, banner right here which where you can evolve your character. But the thing is, um, you could only evolve a uh, SR or SSR character and if you evolve SR it'll be SSR SSR to UR that's it you can't evolve uh, N or R's yeah and in order for you to evolve you'll need a lot it'll um, require you a lot of these um, evolving items so it really um, you know matches with the color of the character so this uh, what is it called uh, Ribo River Wool. I'm not sure I'm, if I'm pronouncing it right, but yeah, this character is green, uh, so it'll require you one rainbow. So all SSRs will require you one rainbow for sure. And then after that, it requires you 10 gold, uh, 25 silver, and 50 bronze of the, the same color of the character. Yeah, and plus, in addition to that, um, you'll need uh, fi uh, 500,000 gold. This one right here. So you Please uh, make sure to collect as mu uh, much gold as possible on Friday when uh, there is a, a Friday event uh, where you can collect all the gold. And I really recommend you to join a group and you know go with a member. Then you know it'll be much easier for you to collect um, basically not only gold but any item. Yeah, it's always better to share than go solo. Yeah, so that's how you evolve. And then uh, here uh, on the third banner, uh, you could. Um, level your skills so if you choose the Matsuyama and you know you choose the skill you want to level but you have to have the same exact skill in order for you to um, level your skill and then once you level you, you, the, the level indicator here will uh, go up and then I guess comes um, here uh, is um, this section you could pass a skill to another character so for example right I choose the base character where uh, the character you want the skill to come in right and choose a slot uh, empty vacant slot and then you could choose you know he here is a list of uh, characters you could choose out of or skills I should say so the, the point of um, passing on the skill I think I did a video on this as well in the past so please check that as well but um, so I chose Matsuyama, so I could only choose skills from Matsuyama. You can't choose like Hyuga or Tsubasa and pass those skills to Matsuyama. So you have to have the same character in order for you to pass uh, a skill. Yeah, so for example, right? I don't know, I'm not going to do it right now, but I could do it like that. I could, this is Faint Tackle uh, Rank B. Um, I could pass this skill because, you know, normally, 
you know, in this game, right, you can't put two Matsuyamas in one formation, right? So basically, um, you if you get like a UR Matsuyama, you won't be using this SR Matsuyama. So you what you want to do is um, you want to take out his skill and put it on the UR Matsuyama, so that you know the Matsuyama UR Matsuyama will be uh, stronger. Yeah. So yeah, this is where you pass the skill on to another character. So other uh, banners right here is just you know to see you know what characters you have and to to sell your characters to you know uh, and you could receive these uh, gold silver bronze medals which you, you will be using at a shop and this is just a uh, I don't know a list of characters in the whole entire game and this is a, a number of um, uh, what what is it called the, the items you have for evolving the evolving items so this is gacha as you all know most of, uh, probably and this is a uh, uh, where you uh, do uh, you know you uh, make your formation right maybe I'll go over this later because I don't ha I, my, my the length of this video is already above uh, 20 minutes yeah that's about it, I guess, for this video. I hope uh, it, it because um, everything is clear to you, clear to you. And uh, please uh, leave comments or questions if you have anything additional um, uh, related to this video um, or anything, basically, in this uh, uh, for this game. And I'll go over some points I couldn't go over in this video, like uh, how to, what is a shop, basically, what you can do in a shop, uh, or. Um, how you make your team or even um, I should maybe once uh, go over how to play this you know the, the game itself you know maybe uh, showing you how to play the online uh, PvP or whatever yeah I'll do that in the future I hope you like the video uh, please uh, feel free totally to leave comments and I'll be here uh, happy to help uh, yeah so that's about it for this video thanks bye